Good morning, everyone. You don't see what goes on in the studio. This is take three as I try to do the uh, Wednesday uh, online devotional here the first uh, Wednesday of October. Tonight is uh, Wednesday 180, and our special guest is uh, Matt Schmidt from Engage 360. We'll be having dinner at 6 o'clock, uh, beef stew tonight, which sounds good. And uh, following our meal, um, we'll be in the vestry, and Matt will be speaking on uh, Christian response to environmentalism and, uh, you know, as Christians, how we care for this world and uh, some of the thoughts behind that should be quite exciting. Uh, today, we continue in this devotional some of the, the harder teachings of Jesus, and uh, we're going to do the parable of the ten virgins in a moment. Um, this Saturday, uh, sadly, we will uh, lay to rest uh, uh, Pastor Rich's wife, Pat Weisenbach, and uh, of course, the Weisenbach served here for over 30 years. And so we will have a memorial service Saturday at 11 o'clock uh, here in the sanctuary. Uh, parking will be uh, precious, so to speak. So uh, make sure you, you uh, try to get here between 10 and 10.30. Um, Sunday will be our traditional uh, worship service at 9.30. And then followed by our contemporary at 11 o'clock. We hope to see you at all of these things. Uh, I'd like to read the parable of, of the ten virgins from Jesus, uh, Matthew 25, uh, 1 through 13. But let me just give you a few uh, things to listen or, or remember as we read it. Um, so when it talks about the bride here, of course, the Bible says the church is the bride of Christ. And so there's uh, being this a parable. Um, the church is, is the bride of Christ. Uh, that's the pic one of the pictures here. There are ten virgins, uh, but, uh, you know, five of them um, become a part of the Bride of Christ, and five do not. Um, five are ready and prepared for the coming of Christ and coming for his bride, the church, and five are not. So just a couple things to remember as we talk about this. It reads that uh, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise, for when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flask of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, Since there will not be enough for us and for you, go to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterwards, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Very simply, this, this is a parable about being ready for eternity. Uh, many are not ready because they have put off repentance. They have put off following Christ, the bridegroom. They put off conversion until it's too late. The Bible says we must repent and be born again, John chapter 3, that we must follow Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So there are ten virgins representing, uh, you know, people. And uh, ten or five are foolish because they, they don't see the, uh, feel the imminency. They don't need to be ready. And so uh, they go through life um, doing the normal things and... Um, when the bridegroom comes, they're not prepared. They're not ready. The other five were ready. They had their lamps. They took their oil with them. They were prepared. And so when the announcement came that the bridegroom is here, um, they were able to go with the bridegroom because they were his. They became his bride. Uh, I think the, the difficult part for many is that it says that when the five realized that they had missed their opportunity, they went to the door 
and knocked on the door saying, you know, open up, let us in too. But uh, the Lord answered, uh, truly, I tell you, I don't know you. I don't know you. If we don't know Christ and the bridegroom, that is Christ, comes for his church, if we are not in Christ, if we are not in the body of Christ, the church, we will not be ready and we will miss eternity with Christ. The final warning is verse 13. Watch, therefore, because you don't know the day or the hour. Again, the idea is very clear. You don't know when Christ is coming. You don't know when Christ will come for his church. So many people think, well, I can become a Christian later. I want to sow my oats. Uh, I want to I want to be free. I don't want to have to be obedient to God. I want to do my own thing. Others are like, no, God will accept me the way I am. I don't need to follow what the Bible says about salvation and forgiveness for sin. Some even say, I'm not a sinner. No one sins. We're all going to heaven. It doesn't matter what we do or believe. This parable, uh, again, is a, is a strong reminder that no, there is a path, as we noted last week, that there's a broad way that leads to destruction, and many are on that path, and there's a narrow way, and few there be that find it. Don't miss the opportunity of salvation. Paul said, now is the time, now is the day of salvation. Make sure that you have oil for your lamp, that you are in the faith, that you are in Christ, that you are a part of the bride of Christ, forgiven and ready for heaven. Father, we pray for all who hear this message, that they will uh, turn to Christ if they haven't already, that they will be a part of the bride of Christ and be ready for his return, which seems to be coming soon. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I hope to see many of you tonight and uh, also on Sunday. God bless. Bye now.